Yo, selamat sore. <tuh> Mana udah siap? Siap, Dok. Semoga bisa. <tuh> Oke, baik. Jadi eh uh, ujiannya kita mulai ya. Untuk prosesnya kalau yang dalam New LMS itu saya sampaikan kuis dulu baru diskusi tapi eh, saya rubah jadi setiap soalan kuis dijawab eh, explanation masing-masing harus menjelaskan. Sudah ya? Sudah install? Iya sudah dong. Oke baik ini saya share screen ya. Apakah sudah tampil? Belum. Belum dok, masih loading. Masih loading. Iya. Mana? Sudah belum? Iya, sudah dok. Bentar ya. Oke. Oke, okay. saya kunci ya. Tuh. Siap dok. Sudah berdua. Lock. Oke, okay, ada kunci baik. Bal <laughs> lagi sorry. Ini tampil clear atau clear? Apa? Terputus, terputus. Clear, clear dok, tapi uh, suara dokter terputus-putus. Terputus-putus ya. Sejak. Internet instabil kejap ya. Saya kurangkan ini beberapa set terlalu banyak buka application. Kejap. Oke. Sudah belajar apa, Jo? Hmm, semuanya sedikit-sedikit. <laughs> semuanya sedikit-sedikit. Tak ada yang banyak. <laughs> Yulis, gimana udah belajar apa? Uh, lumayan lah, dok. So, tapi kalau mau diingatkan semula itu, itu yang saya, saya khawatirkan. <laughs> <laughs> Jadi begini ya uh, sudah tengok kanal saya belum lagi sudah dok sudah sudah jadi sudah pernah tengok macam mana ujian yang seperti sebelum sebelumnya ya belum ya dok tapi nggak semuanya dok Iya kan banyak kelompok yang saya uji. Iya. Jadi mirip-mirip itu ya. 
sekejap Next <coughs> Bentar, aku lagi menguji bentar ya Oke Bentar Suara saya masih terputus-putus Enggak hmm, lancar dong Hah? Bisa, masih enggak? Enggak, enggak, enggak putus-putus Sudah lancar dok. Betul Bentar, saya hilangkan catch-nya ini Saya delete dulu biar lebih ringan masih nampak putus-putus ya gerakan kita kado kalau di layar saya uh, clear aja lancar gerakannya putus-putus tak enggak gerakannya lancar juga lancar juga ya Cap, kita coba share lagi ya. Coba share lagi, putus-putus enggak? -putus, hmm. Oke. Okay. Nah. Suara saya putus-putus enggak? -putus, Tadi bentaran ada putus-putus. Ah? -putus. Sekarang masih putus-putus? Eh, -putus? uh, sudah lancar. Cek sound satu dua tiga. Kenapa? Lancar dok. Lancar. Mungkin dokter bisa tutup cam camnya waktu share screen bisa lebih lancar. Maybe. Oke ini ini lancar nggak suara saya? Saya tes lagi nih. Cek sound. Iya lancar dok. Lancar dok. Ini soalnya Lisa, Yulisa jadi putus. Coba lagi. Gimana suara nah. saya terdengar dengan? Iya, iya terdengar jelas. Nanti dong. kan menjelaskan nih explanation. John, gimana Jo? Suaramu Jo? Coba cek sound. Uh, testing one two three. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh yes. Okay, clear. Oke, okay, kalau begitu. Kita mulai ya. Bila sudah oke, okay, kita mulai. Nah. Oke, okay, baik. Kita mulai quiz terlebih dahulu. Dan diskusi. Sekarang soalnya tentang produksi veteriner. Oke, okay, soal pertama sudah tampil. Iya, yeah, sudah tampil. Dok. Deteksi kebuntingan. Yes. Dok, layarnya blur, dok. Blur? Iya, yeah, blur. Hmm. Jawab blur tak? Agak blur. Eh, boleh terbaca. Sudah ada jawaban. Oke, masih terbaca ya pilihannya ya. Terbaca, terbaca dok kalau uh, if I screen. Harus dekat. <laughs> oh, oh, berarti harus dekat ini. Oke, baik. Ini kan soalannya dua-duanya betul nih jawabannya. Coba Jo. Jelaskan, Jo. Jelaskan, ya. Uh, yeah. Using ultrasound, you are able to detect the pregnancy 10 to 14 days. It is because on 10 or 14 days, the zygote is already implanted itself to the coronal artery. Therefore, when you use ultrasound, you can see like there's a, a something that is already attached to the 
Oke, okay, Yulisa. Silakan explanation and addition atau apa yang boleh ditambahkan atau dikurangkan? Silakan. Uh, yang saya ingat itu dok uh, bisa lihat uh, kayak kantung yang berisi uh, apa cairan itu jadi kelihatan uh, hitam gitu kalau pas uh, dua minggu pasca dikawinkan oke okay. ada lagi tambahan explanation Enough. Tak ada lagi? Iya cukup dok soalnya uh, itu saja yang kami ingat. Oke okay. baik kita lanjutkan soalan yang kedua benar atau salah true or false ya yeah. ini sumbat laboratorium. Oke, okay, I think one of <laughs> partisipan is false. Coba ini yang salah dulu. Siapa yang menjawab salah? Yang merah siapa? Mengaku. Me. Oke, okay, kenapa? Accept. Coba boleh explain. Kenapa jawab salah? Because I'm not sure of the answer. <laughs> hmm? Not sure kenapa? Kenapa Jo? And also I don't really understand the question. So, uh, doctor, can you explain? Can you re-explain it to me first? Ini kan uh, plak ya. Sumbat kan plak. Sumbat laboratorium ada plak yang dibuat ke in the laboratory, ya. Yeah. Ini ada di bagian dari straw, kan consist of several ya, plaknya itu. Karena kalau yang laboratory plak itu uh, sifatnya macam mana? Apakah dapat move atau stay? Tak boleh move, gitu kan? Gimana, Yo? Uh, ya, yeah, it shouldn't be able to move lah. If... If it's a strong answer wrongly. Ini ya, ah, ah, hanya karena not sure saja. Coba Yulisa. Explain Yulis. Uh, Oke, okay, uh, talk bahasa Inggris bisa ya? Boleh. Uh, so, in the production of a straw, uh, one of the methods is sealing and this is when the plug is put into the straw to prevent the uh, semen from coming out from the straw. Uh, he, this is also the part that is outside of the, the others. Uh, when you insert it into the eBay gun, you put the manufacturing part inside and this will be on the outside that you cut off. So that this, when you inseminate, this is where the uh, semen comes out from into the animal. Oke, okay. Jo, ini edition Jo, tak ada? Oke, okay. Yulisa ada edition atau enough? Ya yeah, cukup dok. Cukup. Jo, ada soalan tambahan ini. Jo, boleh explain the part of the straw? The part of the straw. Yes, anatomy of the straw, semen straw. Anatomy of the semen uh, straw. Okay, coba. I, I, I know there's a 20cc one and a 25cc one. The mm -hmm. anatomy of the straw. Uh, uh, I am not very sure. You don't really read on the sperm. The straw. 
straw, the part of the cement straw, any type or any size? I know there's two types of straws. Mm. One is one is the German Germany made one and one is French made one. One is medium size and one is longest medium and large. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. What is it called? Uh, not very sure, <laughs> Doctor. Okay, you listen up, will I explain? The anatomy of salmon straw, there are several types and anything else, Toba, silakan explain. Uh, yang saya tahu, uh, ada yang 0,25 mili, ada yang 0,5 mili. Terus, uh, uh, straw-nya ada beda-beda warna tergantung uh, breed sapi. Uh, terus di atas stronya itu ada penandaan uh, which uh, has the male uh, the male male bull the sorry the bull's coat the name uh, the badge coat the pro producer's name and I think the the breed of the the male and setakat itu dah. Okay, kena belajar lagi ya. Okay, kita akan tuju next soalan. Ini masih sudah terlewat ya, karena tadi Jo ada yang salah. Kita lanjutkan ke next question. Abnormality evaluation of spermatozoa. Oke, okay. uh, siapa yang menjawab salah lagi? Saya yang salah dong. Oh ya, yeah, oke, okay. explain. Kenapa memilih eosin negrosin? Ini salah baca dong. Eh? <laughs> salah baca seharusnya salah pakai baca. ya seharusnya pakai eosin negrosin untuk uh, perwarnaan. Uh, spermanya untuk cek uh, viabilitas dan motilitas. Terus? Boleh explain? Uh, kan ada outdoors. Nih, ada gimsa, ada tinta Chinese ink, ada periode acid shift. Uh, yang, yang lainnya itu uh, yang saya tahu yang dipakai dalam pemeriksa dalam evaluasi evaluasi semen itu uh, hanya eosin negrosin dong. Iya ke uh, tinta China boleh tak ingat ya masa ITR dulu. Coba Jo explain kenapa kamu jawab pas periode asif itu tak boleh digunakan actually it's between data china and periode acid shift doctor wah so, coba okay. explain uh, as far as i know the one that can be used is asino negrosin because it can it can color the spermatozoa as well as can detect abnormality to the spermatozoa by entering into the membrane of the spermatozoa therefore making it abnormal for peridial acid shift 
uh, I don't think it can. I think it's it can. It's permeable. That's why it cannot be used as a test. Or else, eosin is semi permeable. That's why it can use for detection of the plasma membrane. Thank you. Yo, Yelisa. Ya dok. Ya silahkan addition. Uh, Macam mana yang... Gimsa? Gimsa? Ada Gimsa, ada Chinese Ink, Eosinigrosin, periode asiksif. Di yang saya tahu tentang periode asiksif itu untuk deteksi lipogen dok. Yang Gimsa dan Tinta Chinese saya nggak berapa ingat sebab soalnya. Uh, pas uh, ITR itu saya hanya ingat yang eosin negrosin. Oke, Jo. Negrosin? Tahu negrosin, Jo? Negrosin. Yes. Negrosin. Tak tahu, Jo. The dark blue stain lah, as far as I remember. <laughs> Yulisa tahu tak negrosin? Other names of apa? Gak ingat dong, gak ingat eh. nama lainnya. Nama lain tak ingat. <laughs> tak tahu? Gak tahu dong. Gak tahu. Ini ada di sini yang green color. Tinta Cina. <laughs> Itu kan negrosin. Ya, Jo. Jo lagi buat kaligrafi kan pakai itu kan? Yang pakai kuas itu. Ya, Jo. Betul tak? Oke. Okay. Yeah. Ada. Bener tak? Yes, yes. Ya, itu negrosin. Ada di apa uh, shop ya. Untuk apa. Me, apa ATK ya ATK yang jualan alat-alat belajar begitu kan ya Oke kita lanjutkan pertanyaan berikutnya ya Oke kita lihat skor yang sekarang mas serba ya sama Jo ya kita lanjutkan pertanyaan berikutnya benar atau salah Oke, okay, sekarang silahkan. Siapa dulu ini? Jo, boleh explain? Kenapa? Uh, it's because the... The... What do you call it? The stain able to end the the membrane which indicates it is it is not suitable for use it is abnormal not sure as well coba Yulisa uh yang sa, ya, the correct sentence should be sumato saya yang tampak, tampak merah pasal tahu yang variasi biar kita ditentukan oleh membrane plasma yang sudah rusak atau bukan utuh uh, because when if there's an abnormality in the sperm the permeability of the uh, membrane will increase so the coloring can enter and it will show as red But if it's uh, there's no abnormality and it's normal, the membrane is still uh, it, it, the color the membrane the membrane is still intact and it, the color cannot enter. So it 
looks uh, clear. Jo, fiability sama untuk abnormality sama tak Jo? Uh, it can be related but it's not the same. Uh, apa di forenya? Boleh explain. Uh, when the when when the permeability is high, it means that the coloring can go in. Therefore, therefore uh, it can it can be uh, can be because of the the membrane is already spoiled. Therefore, it it can shows abnormality in that sense. But whereas if the permeability is still intact, the color it's it can also changes, but you cannot say that it's because it changes it is also abnormal. If that makes okay. sense. What if for abnormal and fiability? Coba Yulisa, how about differnya? Uh, ada fiability abnormal. test, ada abnormality test, ada differ kan? Coba apa bedanya? Mm -hmm. Uh, viability is uh, whether it is alive or dead. Uh, abnormality is whether there's something uh, different in the morphology, the morphology of the sperm. Okay, in addition, enough. Coba, Jo. Uh, Coba Jo dulu, Jo. Uh, I agreed with you, Lisa. I have nothing else to add. Nothing else. Okay, you, Lisa. Any addition? Ah, uh, yang saya ingat dok. Ah, uh, ujinya sama uh, uh, untuk melihat abnormalitas dengan viabilitas. Pakai usin negrosin juga. Hmm. Tapi apa yang dilihat? Uh, di yang apa? Yang diakses itu apa? Uh, yang diakses di viabilitas itu ya sperma yang uh, berapa banyak yang masih hidup uh, di antara yang sekeseluruhan uh, spermanya. Terus di abnormitas itu uh, berapa banyak yang normal di keseluruhan uh, sperma berapa, dengan melihat bentuknya. Yang hidup atau yang mati? Yang hidup. Yang hidup. Normal itu yang hidup. Coba Jo, any addition explanation uh, from Julesa? Abnormality yang mati dok. <laughs> Ayo, <laughs> coba mana Jo ini? Mana Jo? Uh, you can also see the abnormality uh, on the different morphology, and also you can see on on the head, like the coloration of the arcosome. If it's if it's uh, abnormal, it should have more staining there. Therefore, it is permeable, which is not good. And then, how to calculate abnormality? Is only on the live sperm or only on the dead sperm? Abnormality can be a live and dead sperm, both. Both. Yes. Okay. Yulisa, any correction addition? Saya tahu itu dok jumlah normal pada hidup uh, di keseluruhan spermatozoa yang ada. Yang mati dihitung tak abnormalitinya? Di, dihitung tapi untuk uh, untuk apa? Dihitung normalitas dan abnormalitasnya. Jadi? Dihitung keduanya. Jadi yang normal itu dihitung yang normal over keseluruhan. Dan yang abnormal itu dihitung yang abnormal dan over keseluruhannya. Jadi? It means that? Jadi, uh, lihat. Only keduanya. life. Life or death or both. I would say life. Only life. We need only life. Oke, okay. nanti belajar lagi ya. Nanti ini record ini boleh ditengok, nanti boleh di ini ya. More explanation after exam. Oke, okay, we continue. Siapa nih score? Sudah sikit ya. 
only one point sahaja. Oke, okay, soalan berikutnya tentang multiple choice parameter. Oke, coba Yulis, explain why you choose plasma semen composition. Uh, yang dievaluasi dari plasma, sorry dari semen uh, itu secara makroskopik uh, dan mikroskopik dan uh, untuk konsentrasi spermatosa, motilitas dan Uh, warna warna plasma itu di uh, is included in the evaluation uh, either microscopic or microscopic but uh, composite plasma semen is not included why uh, why not include Uh, I guess that um, the other uh, the other parameters are enough to to uh, to show whether the semen is good quality or not, or maybe a uh, composition of plasma semen is like a uh, further evaluation. Okay, coba John. Please explain. Hmm. First of all, it's not included. I maybe it's because to further examine it, it will cost even more, and it doesn't really give a very important impact result compared to the others. For example, concentration, uh, mortality, the color, and Having the color in the plasma semen, I think, would be good enough as compared to knowing what is in the plasma semen. So it probably because of the cost also la. Cost will be higher. Kenapa costly for plasma semen analysis? Uh, I think because you have to separate the plasma from the semen first. Iya ke? Why it is expensive, Yelisa? I'm not sure, Doctor. Saya so, hanya melanjutkan apa yang Jo bilang. <laughs> Jawab Jo. Why? Kenapa? <laughs> I have a feeling because you bring it to a laboratory, so it definitely costs even more lah in my in my logic. <laughs> because you have to break down one by one how many percent of uh, what is in the plasma. So that will cost additional cost. Uh. And there's so many bulls, so it doesn't make sense using this method for every cow. For every bull, yeah. Tapi kan concentration motility juga apa uh, analyze in laboratory also kan? But it doesn't break down specifically the composition. Okay, Yulisa, any addition? Tidak, okay, dok saya juga uh, tidak dapat menambahkan lagi. <laughs> Oke, okay, kita continue ya. Uh, kita tengok skornya before 100 ya. Oke. Okay. Next question is true or false about lagi ya nih sumbat plug and stroll.
Okay, yo, why you choose false? Because you're supposed to cut it. Because you're supposed to cut the straw be before you use it for eBay. So that it's easier to, it can come out from the sumbatan, one of the side, because both sides is sumbat, right, in my, in my logic. So when you cut one side, so it's easier for it to deposit into the, from the eBay gun to the, to the uterus. uterus. Jadi yang di cut adalah laboratory plug or kilang plug. Uh, hilang plug ah ini pasti belum belajar lagi nih about Simon Straw coba Yulisa could you please explain about this uh, apa ini this Simon Straw uh, bagian yang dipotong itu uh, sumbat laboratorium bukan uh, so the sentence is false uh there are two sides the the manufacturing side the plug and the lab plug the lab plug is the one that you cut so why the kilang plug tak boleh di cut if i remember correctly the kilang plug is the one that will help it push out the semen from the straw. Okay, John, any addition or correction of your answer? Your explanation, maksudnya? Uh, no. Tak ada. Gambling berarti ini. Tiba-tiba betul. <laughs> Okay, we continue to uh, dog. Salah pencet. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> tak ada yang jawab. <laughs> Oke. Okay. Oke, okay, coba uh, Yulisa boleh explain. Dok, dia tiba-tiba dia terus menghilang gitu. Apa menghilang? Uh, uh, the question came and then the answer came and then it disappeared. Yeah, we couldn't press the answer. Why? Enggak tahu, Dok. Enggak tahu, John. Yeah, it just instantly answered like instantly. Did. No time for answering also. <laughs> Oke, kalau gitu sekarang boleh kita bincangkan lah. Coba boleh explain apa nih apa? Other sign is not true about the extra sign. The for optimum breeding time. Coba John. Hmm, usually when it stays silent when mounting, it is in astro's phase, whereas the swollen or vulva, red vulva, uh, mucosa coming out is more towards the pro astro's phase, in my opinion. So when it is is silently letting the male ram to mount, it's uh highly likely it's in uh astral space then why lisa explain about uh, optimal kawin uh standing heat is when like the the animal is most uh oh 
what is the word ah uh, most ah uh, most receptive to the opposite side most in ah uh, the cow is most receptive to the male ah uh, when when it is showing standing heat ah. Uh, Uh, besides that, uh, if I uh, the other uh, the other three will uh not necessarily uh, will not only show in proestrus but it also shows in estrus. So, uh, it is not uh the most accurate uh matter to show that the cow is ready to. To receive the bull. Okay, John. Could you explain why the vulva is edem? Bengka. Uh, cause there's vasculation, uh, increase in estrogen hormone that will cause it to be swollen, and uh, to be red. Yeah, and also cause other other signs as well as swollen. Why swollen only on the vulva, not on the leg or the ear? Uh, it is so that it's preparing for the for the ram to mount. The vulva will become swollen, so it's an easier target, I'll say. Why so specific? Not all body, only on vulva. Because the estrogen function is like that, <laughs> the estrogen function is to vasculate the vulva, make it swollen, and also release pheromones. Coba Yulisa, nampaknya John ada ini kesulitan. Yulisa, coba explain. Ah. Uh... I would say that because uh, estrogen is uh, secreted in the reproductive tract, so that's why only uh, that part is affected. Huh? I'm not too sure. Not I'm not too sure as I <laughs> only on reproduction tract? Then hormone adalah apa? Uh, parts ya yeah, biological product ya yeah. kan masuk di whole blood and blood and whole blood not only for reproduction tract kan whole body kan so why only the reproduction tract is swollen red and hot why Yulis I'm not sure that I, uh, besides what uh, vascularization, I really uh, can't think of a different answer to explain this. Yo, Bajan, did you found the answer? Why so specific? Is it's just the, uh, what, the effect of the hormone. I can only think of the effect of the hormone that makes it. What it is, other than that, I, I'm not very sure. Could you please explain the hormone mechanism? Hormone mechanism. Yes. Uh, In immunology, so I think it has explained it very well. Can I explain? In this topic specific in reproduction. So when it's estrus, the time the estrogen level will increase, therefore making the follicle mature and preparing for release of the oocytes. But the reason, uh, I eh, can answer. Jawa, Yulisa, did you find the answer about this topic? Uh, uh, 
the uh, GnRH in the hypothalamus will stimulate the enter, uh, anterior pituitary, uh, which was then uh, cause the secretion of LH and uh, FSH. Uh, then the ovarian follicles will develop under the influence of FSH and these follicles will secrete estrogen into uh, blood and uh, produce astrocytes. Uh, uh, then uh, estrogen also uh, stimulates the release of GnRH from the hypothalamus. You know, it's, uh, Sorry, sorry, then uh, LH should uh, be used for luteinizing and follicle stimulation of the follicular cells, uh, which will then secrete uh, progesterone and, uh, sorry, from the corpus luteum. And then progesterone will uh, reduce the uterine contractions and uh, inhibits the search of FSH and LH. Uh, if uh, there is no pregnancy, then uh, prostaglandin will cause the corpus luteum to regress. And then uh, the decrease in progesterone will stimulate a negative feedback uh, on the anterior pituitary and cause FSH and LH to be secreted in a smaller amount. And then uh, estrogen level will increase again to cause uh, GnRH to uh, be secreted again. So the cycle then repeats. That is hormone mechanism. That be action mechanism, why this hormone so specific only affect the part of the organ not all body. Coba John, can you explain the mechanism action of hormone? Well, ini kalau for this case is estrogen. Tapi kan boleh other case kan macam-macam ya. Coba. Uh, the mechanism of estrogen hormone towards the the vulva. I I haven't read about it actually. Why not affect so, your uh, this hormone? Why not affect hand or leg or ear? Why on the vulva and reproduction tract only? As you least say, it, it, it excreted in the follicles and the follicles near to the, in my opinion, because the follicle is near to the reproductive tract, therefore the effect is more on the reproductive tract compared to other part of the body. Okay, example other hormone. Adrenaline, this uh, position, the production cell is uh far from cardia kan so why cardia uh, to be tachycardi when adrenaline is higher level this differ from this reproduction hormone okay coba yulisa could you please explain why this hormone so specific only affect the reproduction tract because the reproduction tract has estrogen receptors Okay, explain more about your um, answer. Uh, estrogen uh, enters into the uh, cells and binds 
to them to activate the estrogen receptor. Yang mana ya? Stuck? Ya, yeah, stuck. <laughs> John? Ada tak? Addition explanation? Uh, so stuck. Okay, kita continue for, to the next question. True or false? About call, pregnant call. Okay, sekarang Yulisa, could you please explain your answer? Uh, if uh, cows which are pregnant uh, can have a reoccurring estrogen cycle if it is uh, mated again, I mean, sorry, it can, uh, uh, pregnancy can reoccur again if it's mated again because, uh, sorry, this is, uh, can happen in repeat breeders. Uh, repeat breeders are uh, uh, cows that have uh, normal estrus cycle uh, without any clinical indication uh, but fail to become pregnant at least two times after insemination. Uh, uh they, the repeat breeders can become uh pregnant again uh three weeks after ebay or more than three weeks after ebay uh Stuck, Yulis. Coba, John. Explain, please. Uh, in, in my opinion, it is, it is maybe due to hormone imbalance. Therefore, it shortens the... So the cow is having estrogen cycle again when it's pregnant. So this is could be due to hormone imbalance. Therefore, it releases another oocyte and... If fertilization occur, it can in general it can it can be pregnant again because the the since it's already pregnant the progesterone level is really is high therefore implantation can still occur. Yeah, that's what I can get off this question. More explanation or enough? Enough, dog. I'm stuck. Macam mana ini? <laughs> ini kan sudah tahap ni topik about this apa this estrus cycle ya. Ada di ka apa hmm, IKK juga ada this topic and we try to apa real condition in the field. So soalannya macam ini nih. Pregnant cow, apakah boleh estrus lagi dan boleh kuning lagi atau tidak? Begitu. Coba, Yulisa ada. Soalnya tadi explanationnya buat repeat breeder. That's very different about this topic.
Macam mana Yulis? Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Tak ada dapat. So John, any addition or enough? Uh, uh, if the pregnancy continues, it can cause complication like dystopia and even mummification. That's, that's yeah. Okay, that's remember. Uh, ada di IKK topiknya. Kemudian ada kat. Uh, ada kat other topic explain in koas by siapa ya maybe Prof Iman kali ya oke okay, rasanya both of your stack ya atau jangan-jangan ini jawabannya not pure from your knowledge wes <laughs> Gimana? Kita continue. Bisa dok. Bisa. Makanya kenapa kita harus diskusikan karena we have more apa? Uh, any trick for Kahoot system? Jadi semua orang boleh jawab betul, tapi kalau saya minta explanation why, nah ini tak boleh semua orang boleh explain. Makanya this quiz uh, should be explanation based sistem ya yeah. not only by only apa choosing and uh, directly go the marks ya yeah. so saya combine should be explain kita boleh tengok nih kita continue to next question okay. ini multiple choice about epidural it Sedation on a station. Okay, John. You should explain. Uh, doc, the, for epidural anesthesia is always is either done in as far as I learn learn is the first of or second first in between first and second os coxiglia or the fifth and first. Uh, Fifth sacrum and the first coccidia. That is where you do epidural, epidural anesthesia. For why, for the question you ask, which part they cannot be put? So because the answer could be, oh, I as 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 I can see, could be three answers. So needed to answer. So, uh, how, what happened if we do anesthesia on the lumbar six between lumbar six and sacrum first sacrum? Can you explain? Uh, I think it'll be harder. It's nearer, uh, and it's more dangerous because the spinal cord is near there so if you inject it accidentally too much it might cause paralysis in my opinion okay Yulisa your time to explain Sama, dok. Uh, because the the uh, it's too high so if you make a mistake there and you hit strongly the cow will be paralyzed Paralyze. Or which region will be blocked? Uh, 
down uh, the hip region. Uh, secondly, how about if we do the this procedure on the coccyge two uh, between two and three coccyge? What happen? Uh, I don't think it's effective because it is too far down on the tail. What effect will be happen if we do this on the between coccyge two and three? Uh, I don't think it will be fully um, uh, the, I don't think the anesthesia will fully work because uh, it uh, uh, it doesn't mm, it doesn't uh, it only it will only affect the tail part and not the hip uh, not the pelvic region that's what i think yo any addition yo will explain kan bila kita apa do this in the coccyge 2 and three, between 2 and 3 where a region will affect I think the effect will be lesser and as well as it's harder to inject it because the tail is starting to curve in so the gap is actually smaller so in terms of techniques wise it will be harder yeah okay the question is if we do blah 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 surgery we should do this uh, procedure for apa, uh, inject anesthesia on the coccygate between coccygate 2 and 3. Ada surgery. Apa yang kendak this procedure? By inject anesthesia on the coccygate 2 between coccygate 2 and 3. Will I remember? Uh, is it tail docking dog? Hmm. Apa tell docking, John? Yeah, say tail docking. So, what the region will affect uh, with this procedure for the green color face? It's, it's just to kill to block the tail nerve. You Lisa? Uh, to only block the tail area one. Okay, kita continue to the next question. False of or true about the ini first kalau pertolongan helping the delivery oke okay, Yelisa could you please explain this hmm. uh, we shouldn't break the amniotic sac because uh uh, it should be uh, naturally uh, broken uh, and this might, uh, if we break it manually, it might disrupt um, the conditions in the sac which uh, it provides for the, uh, for the calf. Um, besides that, uh, uh, it may cause other complications like uh, um, uh, maybe the because the, there is what there is fluid in the sac like uh, maybe the the calf will not will 
be a bit more dry and may have problems coming out of the uh, of the cow. Coba John. Silahkan explain. Uh, I think if it's haven't broken, that means the the cow is not ready to to be in labor due to the hormone. Maybe the hormone not enough oxytocin for contraction. That's therefore it's still in the amniotic form. But when the the helping of uh, disrupting the amnion fluid, then it has been forced to labor. Therefore, with not enough oxytocin in the blood, it might cause lesser contraction and a harder giving birth can cause dystopia. Yeah, that's my understanding of it. So, but Elisa, any addition? I guess not, doctor, because uh, basically the cow should just be allowed to have a, as far as possible, the cow should be allowed to have a natural birth. So we should not uh, intervene until it is actually necessary. So what the function? What the function of uh, amniotic, amniotic shack yang protrusion itu? During the delivery, apa fungsinya? During delivery, a dog. Uh... During delivery lah. Kalau non delivery macam mana? Nah, coba John. Nampaknya juga stuck nih. Yulis. I know amniotic sac. The fluid is to protect the fetus lah. But during delivery, uh, <laughs> not very sure. Ini kan. Tindakan pertolongan kelahiran ini berarti kan delivery. We helping delivery process. Tapi jawabannya salah. Kenapa? Ini kan during the during delivery process, the amniotic apa ini sac ya? can be destructed and you answer is false so the truth is tak boleh di destruct the explanation is why coba John uh, as far as I know is because the as I first said, the hormone is not enough. It's not enough uh, for to induce labor. So when you force, force it to force the embryonic to burst, it force the cattle to be in labor. When there's not enough hormone, it will cause complication, contraction, complication. So it's also harder for it to, to. Uh, push out the calf. Elisa, sudah ada answer? Explanation? Uh, maybe to uh, maybe to protect the uh, the fetus stop because it surrounds the fetus so uh, when it is, it will help it to be 
uh, expelled out because uh, and not have any damage towards it because it is surrounding the fetus. Okay, kalau begitu so so soalan saya ubah nih soalannya. Boleh explain the phase phase ya tahapan phase of delivery. Coba Yulisa boleh remember apa fasenya ada apa saja. Coba explain. I know there's three stages. Uh, uh, what are the three stages called? Ntar ada itu. Coba John. Julisannya stuck nih John. Oke, uh, yeah, mention atau explain apa fase delivery phase. The first stage will be contraction of uterus, uh, causing the cervix to dilate as well. Second one will be the giving birth part of it. Uh, it's called fetal ex. Explosion, yeah, fetal explosion. Then the third stage will be the removal of the placenta, which is called placenta explosion. Yeah. Yulisa, in addition, Yulisa. Ah, uh, yes. Three parters, parters and post parters. Uh, in uh, in pre parters, um, Manalis, uh, we still have 10 question more and you're stuck in 10th question. This very basic question, what the phase of the delivery process? I remember sama sekali. Oke, okay. continue sajalah. Kita tengok skornya beda sikit. Ini multiple choice. Oke, okay, John. Explain, John. Uh, if it's natural for the cow to be releasing, to it retains uh, about 6 to 12 hours is normal, but more than 12 hours will be considered retention placenta. So, yeah. Uh, no, there's no treatment should be implemented before the 12 hour mark. Yeah. Okay, coba Yulisa. Explain please. Uh, yeah. uh, placenta explosion usually uh, occurs uh, within 6 hours, but if it is more than uh, 8 to 12 hours, uh, then, it, uh, then it is considered as uh, ret uh, retention placenta and uh, uh, there are other uh, studies that also suggest that is more than 12 to there is 12 to 24 hours then it is actually uh, considered as uh, retention placenta um, 
Uh, also, what I remember is uh, it is uh, due to the uh, effect of uh, collagenase in uh, in the uterus. Any addition, Joe? Uh, retention placenta is because of the uterus, the placenta, the cotyledon is unable to release from the, the, the mother's curricula due to, as Yuli said, not enough uh, collagenase. But post, uh, as for the treatment, you can give oxytocin or prostaglandin to induce the contraction so that it can be released from the mother's womb. Yeah. So, Alisa, Alisa, the addition more. Uh, collagenase. Um, how it affects is uh, it actually reduces the uh tautan of the uh, mother's curricula and the calf's cotyledon so if there is uh something uh if uh it does not if collagen doesn't uh work properly then the the tautan will be strong and then um other things that can affect it is also like infection or of the placentum. Apa tipenya, Yulisa, kalau di ruminan, di sapi, placentumnya? Placentum type. Apa disebutnya? Tipe of placenta. Cotyledonus. Coba, John. Apa tipenya, John? Cotyledon. Cotyledon apa? Zona placenta. Loh. Kok zona placenta? Cotyledon? Cotyledon. Naria. Oh, oh ya. <laughs> Kalau di mer apa John? Tipe pasientanya John? Mer, mer. Duplex ah. Duplex. Duplex. Yulisa, apa kalau di mer? Uh, diffuse dong. Diffuse. Kalau di canine, apa Yul? Canine uh, is... Canine uh, endotheliochoric. Apa? And endotheliochoric. Zonary, maaf. Zonary. Eh? Zonary. Yonari, kalau di Yulisa nanti apa tipenya? In human. Uh, apa, Sa? In human. Choreo elantonic. Coba, John. In human, John. Your wife nanti. Is it discuss? Yeah. Okay. Kita continue to next question. True or false? Oh, susu jolong itu apa?
Oh, ini yang jawab John ya? Apa John? Ini satu yang jawab John kan? Coba John, explain John. Uh, based on the picture, it looks like I also don't know what susu jolok lah, but it looks like fresh milk or just other type of milk, but a thicker, a saturated type of uh, milk that is not by the by the mother cow. Those type of milk doesn't contain colostrum, which is needed for the calf to to develop to develop uh, the, the antibody antibody needed. That's from my understanding from the picture and the answer my answer. Masih belum tahu Yulisa. Jolong. Tidak ada. Tidak ada, tidak tahu. Tidak tahu dong. Oke, okay, cari tahu ya. John juga cari tahu ya. That is local language. I think is, is, you should know. Very familiar in uh, apa namanya? Derico in West Java and others lah. Common common istilah ya. But not English. This is a local. Oke, okay, kita continue to the next question. Multiple choice about Anastasia. Oke, okay, siapa yang jawab proken 2%? Dan yang green? Oke, okay. coba explain. Yulis. Uh, yang biasanya digunakan sebagai uh, estrogen uh, used for uh, pregnancy uh, pains is lidocaine and as far as I know, uh, lignocaine and xylocaine are basically different types of lidocaine or uh, different names. So uh, that's why I chose procaine by elimination. Jawa Bajan, why you chose lignocaine? Because uh, I know xylocaine and lidocaine is used, but I'm not sure whether lido lignocaine or procaine. So I make a guess. As far as the mechanism, I'm not sure how it works. Uh. Okay, Yulisa. You choose procaine. I think you know the mechanism of procaine. Why? Coba, Yulisa. Mm. I chose procaine by elimination, Doc. <laughs> uh, mechanism of procaine. Tak tahu. Oke, okay, kalau kalau silokin, tak tahu juga. John tadi guess aja ya. Lidokin, John, boleh explain mekanisme lidokin? Lidokin, it's a painkiller. <laughs> Can uh can be used tropically and intravenously but the mechanism also i'm actually not very sure need to read up on that aduh macam mana ini yulisa boleh explain uh, 
it blocks the voltage uh, sodium voltage gate sodium channels macam mana uh, Uh, which causes a uh, action potential uh, reversal block of action potential. Okay, kayaknya harus belajar lagi ya. So, read lagi, read and read and read. Kita continue to next question. Apa, true or false, I think. Okay, about the pregnancy examination. Okay, coba John. Please explain your answer. Uh, as far as I know, rectal palpation is to insert your something into the rectal to 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 find out what's wrong with that animal. As uh, as far as I know, usually you use ultrasound for for the domba or kambing but not rectal palpation unless unless you use it like you consider putting ultrasound into the rectal as rectal palpation then it's possible but as far as my understanding you cannot insert your finger or what to to indicate to check whether it's pregnant or not job ayelisa please explain where you choose Seru. Dok, saya baru perasan kepentingan lancuan. <laughs> uh, actually, should be able to because uh, if kepentingan lancuan is uh, kepentingan tua, that means the uh, it will be big enough for us to actually uh, do rectal palpation. Any addition, John? Edition, ada tak? No, tak. No, Yulisa, no edition lagi more, explain. Atau enough? Uh, hanya itu, dok, um, bisa di, dilakukan pada kebentangan lanjut, tapi not uh, kebentangan awal. Hmm. Kenapa kebentangan awal tak boleh? Because uh, the ukurannya terlalu kecil. Okay, we continue next question. Multiple choice about follicular wave. Siapa yang tidak menjawab? Who is not choose answer? I think Yuli didn't answer. Yuli? No answer. I, I pressed though. No. <laughs> There only one. Tapi, tapi tadi sudah tekan dok dan uh, terekam di HP saya. Oh. Emang so, pilihan yang keberapa? Uh, sama dok yang hijau ya ke tak ada nih ada John uh, I answer this 
Yeah, mine has the. Yeah. Okay. Coba uh, explain this follicular wave, John. Uh, follicular waves. It it happens two or three times in different phase. The uh, it's either happen in the um, meta estrus phase or diastrus phase. So during the first two waves, the estrogen elevate. It's high, but then it doesn't. It doesn't release the follicles because of the progesterone suppressing the su suppressing the follicle from releasing however the the last follicular wave will happen when the progesterone level drops which happens in litholysis where the corpus lithium uh, uh, the uterus release uh, prostaglandin to regress the corpus luteum therefore reduces the progesterone therefore the follicle is able to release so basically the the first two or three waves are suppressed by the high level of progesterone yeah okay Yulisa explain uh, one other thing on your phone that you answer sorry doc that is you mentioned that you choose the answer is yeah 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 doc <laughs> yeah, uh, okay so your answer. Do you yeah it, your it showed phone? here record like maybe uh, i don't know maybe the can you, can you show the webcam the phone uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, no, it. I thought I pressed it. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry, now, so... will I explain? Uh, okay. Uh, so follicular waves happen occur in two or three uh two or three times. Uh, this is due to the high levels of progesterone by corpus luteum. Uh, which prevents ovulation. Uh, it happens by uh, recruitment selection or sorry recruitment uh, selection then and dominance. Uh, the first two follicular waves uh, occur either during uh, progesterone elevation or peak progesterone uh, production. Uh, this is where uh, follicles are recruited and they are selected uh, and then they will become uh, atretic. Uh, then the, in the last wave, uh, the, uh, the dominant follicle will ovulate uh, and uh, only the follicles which were recruited uh after luteolysis will be uh can uh go through ovulation uh then um uh in luteolysis the corpus uh luteum uh cannot synthesize and secrete uh progesterone and uh Prostaglandin uh, uh, will decrease the synthesis and uh, secretion of progesterone, uh, which will prevent the uh, CL's activity, hormone activity. Okay, Yulisa, what the fact of the first and second uh, follicle? The fat, fat of the first the and feet. second, yeah, 
Atresia um, macam mana? Atresia, become athletic. Athletic, why? Uh, because uh, uh, because of uh, progesterone uh, uh, production. It mean that production production macam mana maksudnya ni? Uh, uh, Why progesterone production affect the athletic follicle? And the follicle to be athletic. Why, Yulisa? Uh, John, coba Yulisa stuck. Uh, as far as I know, pro high level of progesterone will suppress GnRH, which produces LH and FSH. FSH is the one that will will help for follicle development and releasing of follicle. When the high level of progesterone, it will suppress the FSH, which will make the follicle to be in athletic. Okay, we continue to the next question. False and true about towing the semen, cryo semen. Okay, Yulisa, explain, please. Uh, it doesn't depend what type of water you use. It depends on the temperature to thaw the semen. Why? Uh, because the... Uh, the... The straw is sealed shut, so nothing can go in or out. Okay, Bajan, explain, please. Yeah, it's similar to what you least said. Lah. Even if the water is contaminated, you just need to to tow the semen for uh, 37 degrees for about 30 seconds. As long as it doesn't contaminate the semen, it's, because it's well sealed, it's, it's fine. To use any water. Okay, we continue the next question. Multiple choice about instrument that use for rectal palpation. Okay, John. Explain, John. Why you choose glove? Uh, because we are we are already wearing the plastic glove. Therefore, I sarong tangan glove is I assume is those those cloth glove like that or surgical glove. Uh, reason why is if, if you wear that and with a plastic glove, it will reduce sensitivity to your hand, to the organs. So this is based on 
what I think like, the the usage of the glove is not Coba. suitable. Coba ayo list. Explain. Uh, uh, the before you perform a uh, rectal palpation, the most important thing that you need to uh, consider is the safety of the animal and the safety of yourself. So, uh, therefore, the other three are more important to restrain the animal so that the animal um, does not move, as uh, cannot escape and does not move so that it will be easier to uh, perform rectal palpation. And um, even if you don't have uh, gloves, is fine because uh, as long as you uh, wash your hands properly and... Uh, roll up your sleeves and perform it as uh, aseptic as possible. Okay, we continue to next last three question. Okay, soalan false or true about tanduk ekor. Oke, okay, Yulisa, explain why. Uh, Tando echo is uh, sterility harm and uh, it is one of the uh, signs of nymphomania. Uh, nymphomania is uh, uh, nymphomania is the continuous uh, Uh, the cow is continuously in estrus and always wants to meet. John? Explanation, John? Uh, it is caused by the relaxation of the sacred sacro ligament upwards displaced of the co <coughs> cochlear bone leading to the tipping pelvis. Therefore, the, it will cause the hump you see. So, why is to be a sign of nymphomania? Mm, because it's, uh, it's caused by estrogen. Because it's always in estrogen, so I think it's always it's caused by estrogen um, uh, whereby the pelvic ligaments will be relaxed uh, because of uh, continuous exposure to estrogen. Java John, explain why? Yeah, I think same as Yuli because of over exposure of <clears throat> the estro estrogen but it also can can cause other complications such as follicular cysts when it is when there's a sterile sterility hump yeah affected by estrogen but why this sterility hump uh, occur in nymphomania Does this sign is to be nymphomania sign? Stuck, John? Yulisa? Stuck. Stuck. SMS, John. Okay. Last two question. Multiple choice about ini. Pengeluaran to visceral origin of fetus.
Okay, silakan John. Explain John. Uh, I didn't answer the question. Hey, did I? Oh, I did. I thought I didn't. Uh, I pick Gawat. Gawat is like string, right? Wire. Yeah, wire, wire. Wire, yeah. So, so my knowledge is you want to cut the from from outside you want to cut the organ to smaller pieces if if the fetus is dead if the fetus is dead, if it's alive then no no uh so you cut them to it's like fetal tommy you cut them out then slowly extract them out that's what i understand from the question when there's this tokia and it's fetal tommy which is when the fetus is dead yes why use kawat Why use wire? The question is mm. internal origin of fetus. Internal. So eventually, when you cut the fetus, you will reach the organ. <laughs> so it's my understanding is, uh, yeah, cutting slowly, cutting by cutting pieces by pieces. So. Okay, Yulisa, coba Yulisa. Why you choose pisau or blade? Uh, yeah, what I understand from this is the pisau is a scapel. Uh, so we, we to perform, for example, a cesarean or uh, and such, we need a scapel to open up the cow. Uh, this, this is the dead fetus, yeah? Job by Yulisa. Dead Sorry, fetus. okay. Sorry to open up the, uh, to, to reach into the, uh, cow. We need the we need to go through a few layers of the skin. So we need a we need a blade. Why not using scissor or saw? Uh, a saw is too big and it has uneven teat so and it'll be very much harder to cut open and it's also uh not as uh it won't have a clean cut as if you use a knife but else uh scissors uh uh it will take longer because uh as compared to using a knife john Any addition explanation? Yeah, I didn't know the pizza was scalpel. I thought it was Scalpel. a kitchen knife. Blade, blade. I thought it was a kitchen knife. <laughs> Not kitchen like. <laughs> ah, okay. Nanti kena ini lagi apa? Uh, study lagi about fetotomy ya. Last question for this. Examination is draw room. Okay, Yulisa, this very. Not difficult lah, very easy lah. Coba, Yulisa. Uh, it's not supposed to be rarum, it should be densum. How about definition of rarum apa, Yulisa? Uh, rarum is a uh, uh, distance of uh, spermatozoa head and between one spermatozoa head and another spermatozoa head. Uh, which is 1.5 uh, with 1 to 1.5 uh, of the tail length. Uh, John. Explain, John. Uh, actually, I'm not, I'm not sure what Rarum is. So I'm just like 
guess the answer. Yeah. So, so sekarang kena explain lah. Even though you guess the answer, you should explain. Hmm. <laughs> I, I I really have no idea how to explain this. Okay, Yulisa, addition explanation. Uh, dok, saya cuba lagi. Uh, distance uh, of spermatozoa head to another spermatozoa head, which is uh, 1.5 uh, to a full tail's length of the sperm spermatozoa, and the concentration of the spermatozoa is more than 200 to 500 million. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, who is number three? Nobody. Okay. Jadi, uh, I think enough, but not all your answer is uh, correct. Yeah. So, I think both of you need to, uh, yeah, increase the gain mark from this discussion by making a explanation about each question and addition question yeah kita kan tadi ada main question and addition question from this uh, video that you should uh, write and compile uh, explain with apa namanya good reference yeah include in the explanation and then uh, upload into new LMS and I, uh, and I will compile from your uh, right explanation with currently discussion. Okay, uh, I hope uh, both of you, John and Yulisa, uh, tak boleh lepas dari Saturday ya. Saturday night should be uh, sudah uploaded lah ya. Yeah. Jadi uh, ahad boleh rehat for the next uh, subject ya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Baik, uh, nanti tengok di New LMS for this uh, record or video and uh, apa nanti saya siapkan Ya apa uh, tautan untuk mengunggah. I think SMS you got uh, this uh, examination link uh, information. Uh, that's why you uh, that's that's part ya. Yeah? That location you can upload about the the answer. Okay. Uh, doctor. Yes. Uh, is it an individual work or group work? Individual, okay. tak boleh tak boleh discuss. Jadi each of you, each of you, each okay. of both of you ya. Jadi Jonathan uh, upload, Yulisa juga upload. Ya nanti saya tengok nih uh, what you write and nanti saya compile the mark from your right apa uh, right explanation with this uh, discussion. Oke, okay? oke okay, ya. Tak boleh lewat okay, dari okay, Saturday okay. because I, I will apa di remind, reminding by uh, koordinator mata kuliah for apa submit your marks. Okay, clear enough? Baik dok, iya yes. uh, jelas dok. Oke, okay. baik terima kasih. Uh, good apa ya? Good afternoon, good evening. And see you for next time. Any uh, apa testimony, John? Uh, no. <laughs> Maybe the question could be a bit clearer. <laughs> some some question is uh didn't catch the concept like the pisau. I I didn't know it was scapel. Yeah. Okay, Yulisa, any testimony or anything? Uh, 
uh, mohon maaf atas banyak kekurangannya dok and uh, terima kasih banyak dok kerana uh, Karina telah membimbing kami selama satu bulan ini <laughs> and ke, terima kasih dok atas uh, YouTube channelnya juga kita banyak belajar dari dari YouTube channelnya juga okay terima kasih see you okay, thank you dok thank you, thank you dok